Hello, welcome. This is Austin from TwoClassWide.com. We are continuing. So when you must have clicked on PHP My Admin, you are going to see this uh, interface. This is the PHP My Admin where you use uh, MySQL to create a database for the Joomla site that you are creating. So this is the database. Just go to this place, click on it. Once you click on this place, it's going to uh, show you a small form. Say, create a new database. So what's the name of the database? like the name of our website is uh you and me so i'm gonna use a database as you and me as well db so that's the database you and me db so you say create good you see database you and me db has been created so with that you can now see database you and me db see it here so it has already been created that's all of it to be done on database creation so we're going to start running the installation immediately. So open another browser. So this is the new browser. Just type in localhost slash you and me. That's the name of your uh, website. Remember the name of the website that we changed here in the www directory to you and me. So just type localhost slash it so that it will bring out uh it will bring this out for you so that you can run the installation the installation is very easy just keep clicking on uh, next i'm doing some little changes so i'm gonna say next so when i say it, it gets me to this page for pre-installation check not only i say next see the steps has gone past one goes past to is nine three still click next again it's a very simple installation procedure. Database, this is where you're going to do something. Hostname is localhost because you're hosting from your site, from your computer. Username, just type in root here. Password, leave it empty if you're using one server. Database name, you see the database we created, you and me, DB. That's the last database we created. So having written that, just say next. It's very simple. So this is the Joomla installation uh, background that you use in doing the installation for your Joomla website. Okay, just click on next again here. Good. So here you can put the name of the website. You can just say you and me. You can put your email, c3 or no32 at 